cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death for people in the United States. And one in five people globally, based on the genetic and epidemiological data that we have, has high LP little a. And it's currently the strongest genetic risk factor for coronary artery disease and for aortic stenosis. But the reason that I would classify it as, as rare is because very few doctors and very few patients know about it because it's not included in the standard lipid panel. And if you test for high LP little a and you add it to the Framingham and the Reynolds risk score based on the recent Brunex study, you reclassify 40% of patients into a higher risk category. So we, what we are advocating for is to include LP little a as part of the standard lipid panel so that you can get an accurate prediction of your risk so that then you, ha you know this number from birth, it's genetic. Diet and exercise have no impact on high LP little a. But if you know from birth that you have high LP little a and it's a simple blood test, all you need to know is your mass number to predict your risk, then you can do aggressive primary and secondary prevention until we have an approved therapy with level one data showing that when you reduce LP little a, you reduce risk. We know if it's elevated that there is all this risk, but what we need is a, and we're advocating for, is more research and a therapy lowering LP little a and improving the outcomes for patients.